So um, I'm headed west on I-40 right now, Panhandle, Texas. Uh, I just did a video shoot in Oklahoma. Had a bunch of video equipment in my car. Figured I'd, I'd shoot this and, and share an experience I just had. I uh, just passed through Eric, Oklahoma. I was stopping there because I wanted to see the Roger Miller Museum. I saw a bunch of road signs for it, and I've always wanted to see it, so I pulled over and took a look at that. The town of Eric, Oklahoma is really small. There's not many people there. It's really just the museum and a few buildings. And uh, as I exited the museum, I looked down the road, and I saw this weird, like, shack warehouse looking thing covered in old signs old like route 66 signs and old vintage gas station signs and stuff so i went over there started shooting video of it as i was shooting video this old guy comes out this big long zz top beard kind of messed up teeth everybody that come here mainly knows me yeah invites me inside says hey you should come inside come inside take better shots of video and like shoot photos inside. I said, oh, okay, it sounds good. I'll go in this guy's shop. Maybe if he has something cool for sale, I'll buy it. I go inside and uh, he informs me that this isn't a store. This is just his place. Then he closes the door and locks it. I think I'll lock the door because one more more than one person at a time comes in here, I start getting paranoid. Oh, it's starting to get too many yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I really haven't learned how to handle myself <laughs> with more than two people. Yeah. Gosh almighty. And there's no windows in this place. I'm just inside this cave with all this junk and this kind of weird hillbilly guy. And, uh... He's just tugging off this Jack Daniels bottle the whole time and laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, this is bad. All my sirens are going off. You know, either someone is outside stealing all the equipment in my car or I'm about to get hillbilly ass raped real hard. And uh, the only thing I have is my video camera. I have that in my hand. So I press record and I start recording. Well, we want to welcome you to Eric, Oklahoma, the redneck capital of the world. Would you believe where you can see rednecks working, playing their own environment and sanity? It's finest right here at the world class, world famous Sand Hills Curiosity Shop, where there are no rules or regulations and nothing is illegal. My name is Harley, and I'm what's left of the mediocre music makers. And this is where people come from all over the world to get their bumps, kicks, grinds, tricks, dicks, and big pricks on 66. So we're going to let old Derek Baby Boy just shoot around in here and have fun for a few minutes today, take a few photos. I may take him over to my dadgum redneck castle slash sanitarium and let him take some photos over there too. The one's my, on your roof? Yep, it's right there. How long have you been living out here? I'm... Well, I was born here in 1945. I came back here from San Antonio, Texas in 1986. 30 years this month. Had you already started uh, get plugging some of this stuff? Oh, no, no, hell no, no, no. I've been through, I've been all, I've, I've been through, I've been through as many dead gum batches of dead gum antiques and collectibles as I have women. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my John Deere don't run very good anymore, but I still got heavy equipment. <laughs> that gum television magnet. <laughs> you know, something that's really useful. Something that is really going to make you feel good when you put it on at night. So you can look just as good as you did when you went to bed the next day. I tell you for sure, it's breakfast in bed, honey. <laughs> I know, with me and you, we could have a couple of vanilla wafers and not even get nutty. <laughs> Most of this stuff come from Eric, Oklahoma? Oh, hell no. Hell, this town had their way to get rid of that, that stuff, all this damn stuff and me. Everything that goes along with it and forget I was ever here. It'd be the best thing that ever happened to them the way they see it. Oh, hell no. 
Gosh almighty, they just, they just wish they could be hated like I am. Well, let's see, I don't have my lights on or anything, but the smell of my house is still in there, so you will at least, you know, be able to enjoy that. <laughs> this is the redneck front porch. Uh, what kind of a Christian ministry did you say you were with? Oh, uh, the Christian ministry of the non-existent churchgoers. Oh, the, uh, the flying purple people eaters. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Well, this is the redneck front porch. So this is your home. This is where I live. This is my redneck castle slash sanitarium. I come over here to get uh, rejuvenated. So is this the living room? Uh, this, is, <laughs> this is the living room. And before we take you into the kitchen, we'll ask that you take a DNA test uh, uh, before we put you in the oven for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they really get carried away on forensic files. <laughs> Usually in a hearse. Well, this is the redneck kitchen. Uh, the lights aren't on quite yet, but uh, 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 maybe they'll be on here in a few minutes when we uh, get through uh, going over here to the uh, redneck bedroom. Uh, well, there's some light. No, just, there's some light. Just kick maybe on. there's enough to, to uh, maybe there's enough to uh, kick it in. I'm not sure. Uh, if there's not, we'll just uh, go into the bedroom and stick yeah, it in. I know we. Hey, I know. Hell, yep. Well, he did. He had to shoot my rolling papers. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I've got the package to match your shirt. Yep. I know it. This is the redneck bedroom. Yeah. I have to have this, um, for health purposes, I have to have this Alamite lubricating sign up above my bed. Uh, I can't stand too many more lawsuits. <laughs> <laughs> So this uh, is this is the master bedroom. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, you could call it the master bedroom, but this is where we usually make invitals out of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, this is this. Here's the swamp lagoon. I mean, yeah, the sewage lagoon. It's the sewage lagoon. Yeah. I I wasn't sure there for a minute. <laughs> Uh, if you can't meet the uh, load limit of four times, I've got the phenomet chewing gum laxity there to help you move it along. <laughs> I know it. I know we play like children in here every once in a while, and I'll tell you what, they ain't nothing like masturbating at the 70 years old. <laughs> well, in here is the... Uh, 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 what is this? This is where my overnight guests spend the night. They usually sleep about six or seven high rotating positions as the night goes by. And of course, uh, if they get bored, I've got the primitive sex toy down here for their enjoyment. For the men that have to make the dadgum scene, I've got the dadgum slide rule up here. Yeah. Uh, it'll measure hot or cold, by the way. <laughs> oh, my. So that's the Redneck Castle. Well, my goodness sakes, look what we've got in here today. We've got the wild man, Derek, traveling all the way back to L.A. He's getting his bumps, kicks, grinds, tricks, dicks, and big pricks by way of Route 66. So, Darren, are you ready to cruise the mother road? I'm ready to cruise the mother road. Yeehaw! Let's get out there in that car. Let's turn the key on. Let's put the pedal to the metal. Let's throw it in gear. And let's leave rubber all the way down Route 66. <laughs> If you have a plan to motor west, travel my way, take the highway, it's the best. I get your kicks on Route 66. Left by from Chicago to LA. More than 2,000 miles all the way. I get your kicks 
on Route 66. Well, you go through St. Louis by Joplin, Missouri, and Oklahoma City, she's pretty pretty, you'll see. Amarillo, Gallup to Mexico, Flags to Arizona, don't forget Monona, Kingman, Barstow, once you get hip to this timey trip, well, you make your California trip. Get your kicks on Route 66. Get your kicks on Route 66. Get your kicks on Route 66. Way to LA. <laughs> I'm the only one in here, by the way. <laughs> That's okay. Hell, we, we don't care. Hell, you ought to see me when I'm by myself. <laughs> that was a trip.